Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to compare two plugins together to get rid of the floor noise and that's a noise gate along with expander and um, both of these plugins work slightly different and perform a different functionality um, so I'm just going to do some tests on this audio recording that's already here um, and take you through each of the plugins and actually explain it a little bit more in depth and show you what it does so first of all I'm just going to turn up the gain slightly to make sure you hear the floor noise so let's say that's a 9, turn it on and what I'm going to do now is play this recording so you can hear the floor noise in between the actual signal waves um, even though these waves do have the floor noise as well they just tacked underneath the voice so let me just play it quickly this is a test one two three so as you could hear a lot of floor noise in between the words um, but there's also floor noise within the actual voice itself it's just covered up with the louder parts of my voice um, so moving on and switching on an expander floor noise gone the reason for that is because I've turned down the threshold all the way down to minus 50 dB um, and I'm having the highest possible ratio as well so when I crank it up the floor noise is going to start appearing again so let me just go ahead There we go, as you could hear a lot of floor noise now, um, and when I go back down it's going to start disappearing. Cool, so it's pretty much gone at around minus 45, um, so let me just play the audio recording now again. This is a test, one, two, three. Cool, floor noise throughout the entire recording is pretty much gone um, the only disadvantage with an expander is that it does completely opposite to what compressor does so it expands your voice so the loudest bits of your recording is going to get even louder and the quiet parts of your recording is going to get even quieter um, in my opinion the disadvantage to that is that when you go ahead and compress your vocals let's say if you're recording a song um, you're going to have to compensate and over compress your vocals because you expanded it even further than it's supposed to be to get rid of the floor noise and over compressed vocals never sound good and it may actually destroy your overall quality of your voice signal cool so moving on to noise gate now I'm just gonna switch it on um, as you can hear the floor noise is pretty much gone however it works differently um, and the difference is it opens um, whenever your signal is above your set threshold and it closes for anything below your set threshold um, so as you can hear there's a lot of cutting and chopping um, and that's because it opens and closes so you can actually hear the transition and it does not get rid of the floor noise within the actual stronger signal in which case um, here is the spoken word so that's still going to exist within it's just going to be tacked underneath um, so let me just play it. I'm gonna crank it up to minus 40 and play you the audio recording. This is a test. One, two, three. So as you could hear, majority of the floor noise in between was eliminated. However, the floor noise here was still present, and there was a lot of cutting and chopping present, um, which didn't sound good at all. So that's the actual difference between the two. Noise gate opens and closes depending on your threshold set where expander gets your louder parts louder and your quiet parts quieter, but then you have to overcompensate for the expansion with overcompressing. I appreciate you if you like, subscribe and comment. Um, and I'm gonna do another video which is very similar to this one, but I'm just gonna compare the plugins from Waves. Um, which is supposed to do the same functionality as these two. Thank you very much. Peace.